Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change a sky color in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial on screen right now. You can see a quick example of this. So this is what our video looks like without any effect on it. Now I should mention this video effect is only really going to work on still shots like this. You want a shot where the background is in a perfectly still position. We're going to be creating this effect entirely in Premiere Pro and all we're really going to need is the title tool, which is kind of crazy to even say. So the first thing you want to do is have your Premiere Pro project open and you want to have a video track on your timeline. From here, you want to open up your project bin. If you can't find this, simply come up to window and click on project. Once you're in your project bin, we're going to be coming down to the bottom right to the new item button, and we're going to be creating a new title. Now you can name this title whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to be naming it Sky Change. The color here really doesn't affect anything. All we need to do is have a title open. From here, we're going to be coming to the left of our title panel and we're going to be clicking on the rectangle tool. And we're going to be drawing a rectangle all over our sky background. Now, for now, you just want to make it as small as possible to cover all of the sky in the background. And then we're going to be editing the rest after that. Once you have this done, we're going to be coming over to our fill option here. And we're going to be using one of four options, the solid, the linear, the radial, or the four color gradient. Now this will determine on the effect you want to get out of your sky. If you really just want to vamp it up with one color, you can use a solid color. If you want to use a gradient to kind of add a color dispersity across the sky, you can use a linear or radial gradient. In this case, I'm going to be using the four color gradient because I think we can get some cool effects with this and I want to experiment with it a little. But once you have the four color gradient selected, you're going to have the option of choosing four different colors for your gradient effect on each of the corners. So what I'm going to be doing is double clicking on each of the corner boxes and adding a color. Now I'm going to be sticking to mainly blues here, but you can kind of experiment yourself with some orange orange and yellow if you want to add like a sun type effect but my main goal here is to vamp up the sky color because i feel the sky color is very dull in comparison to the water and the rest of the scene so i'm really just going to be adding some different blues now if you want you can add the same color of blue all around it's going to make it a bit more of a static feel and if you just want to add one color of blue like i said i'd recommend going for the solid color but it's really up to you and what kind of effect you're trying to achieve so in this case i'm going to be choosing a couple different blue colors i have a nice disparity of blue going on here it kind of gradients around and this is the kind of effect i'm going to be looking for. So once you're happy with the colors you have, you can close down your title tool and you should be left with your title tool in your project bin. What you're going to be doing is dragging your title onto your timeline and lay it on top of your video track. You're going to be stretching the title to the exact length of your video track and then you're going to be left with this giant square box on top of your title. Now this is going to look a bit dumb at first, which I'll totally admit it does. It looks really stupid right now, but with the effects we add onto it after, it's going to look much more clean. From here, you want to select your sky change title on your video track, and we're going to be coming to our effects control panel. If you can't find this, simply come up to window and click on effect controls. From here, we're going to be opening up the opacity tab, and we're going to be changing our opacity to 50%. Now, this is so we can add a mask on top of this to remove some of the background to make this a bit cleaner, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that after, but so we can kind of see through and see exactly the effect we're doing. So what we want to do from here is select our free draw bezier tool and we're going to be drawing around our video track to make sure we just have the sky selected. Now in this case I'm going to have to zoom into my video track. You can do this by coming down to the bottom left and selecting fit and you can select a number of different options here. In this case I'm going to be selecting 400% because I want to zoom in pretty far into my image and I'm going to be going through and start selecting around the background. Now I'm not going to be too accurate in this case because I want to make this kind of quick and efficient but if you're doing your background you should make it as clean as possible. The cleaner this effect the better. I'm probably going to be skipping through myself doing this in the background just so you don't have to watch it because it is a bit of a tedious effect, but it's pretty easy to do in this case. To go up around this guy, and then we're going to be finishing off our brassiere by coming to the first and last point and connecting them. And then you're going to be left with this nice mask effect. Of course, you can come back in here at any time, click and move some of your points around if you want to go in and adjust it later. For now, I'm pretty happy with how this effect is. And if we click away from our mask, you can already see the sky looks much brighter. From here, what we're going to be doing is coming back to our effects control panel and we're going to be experimenting with the blending mode. Now, this is where we really start to see this effect really come into play. As we play around with the different effects, we're going to see one that we really like and it's really going to vamp up our image a lot. Now, our goal here is to play around with the blending mode and we're going to be also affecting the opacity to determine to get the sky effect we want. Now, using this, I'm quite happy with the lighting effect. You can see the sky looks much brighter and much more vivid in blue. Now what I want to do here also is increase the mask feather. As you can see, it's still a little rough around the edges. So what we can do is come to our feather, bring this little drop down right here, and we can use our slider to increase our mask feather to just soften the edge a bit. Now what the feather does is just masks around the edge to make it look less harsh and more soft and kind of colorful around the edges. And looking at this now, I'm pretty happy with how this effect is looking. The sky background could be a little bit tighter, but that's really easy to go back in and edit with some of the points. But the sky looks much more blue. Now we can really easily look back and forth to how this looked originally by hiding our second layer on our video track to see how dull and bleak our sky is. But when we unhide this and see how 
nice and vibrant the sky looks. It surprisingly looks pretty natural, even though this is just a title effect. Of course, you can make this cleaner, like I said, and you can choose different blues. But if we play through this, it looks pretty nice in the background. And like I said, you can go back in and make this tighter at any stage. And we can also go back in and change the colors if we come to our project bin one more time. Double click on our sky change panel, and we can go back in here and change the colors if you want to change one of the corners of blue, or even if you want to change the fill type to solid, linear gradient, or radial gradient. Once your initial base is set up, and once your bezier is drawn, you can change this at any point, which makes this tool really flexible. You can do some really nice things with the sky and really start to experiment. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to leave a link down below to my PayPal if you found this video helpful and you want to support me. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Also, if you want to request any tutorials, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to get around to them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.